Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you the function of solver tool of OpenOffice Calc, and this is the sixth topic of session one of Unit Two, Electronic Spreadsheet. Now, just to explain the function of solver tool here, one situation I have considered that is principal rate of interest time. These three are given, and uh, first of all, I am going to calculate here simple interest, and thereafter I will show you what is the function of solver tool here. So, I am here going to write a formula to calculate the simple interest. So, that is equal. there after multiplication of principal rate of interest and time and the result of the multiplication i have to divide by 100 so here i am getting 600 as a simple interest when principal is 5000 rate of interest is 4% and time is 3 years now first of all i am going to show you how this solver tool is working as a goal seek so now what i want to do i want to know that what will be the principal if i want simple interest as 900 So for this purpose we can use goal seek, but I am going to use this time solver option. So here just to access solver option, we have to click on the tools tab of the menu bar, and here I am getting one menu, and in this menu I have to select this solver option. So as I clicked on the solver option, here I am getting solver window, and first of all target cell I have to select. Target cell is a cell that is containing the result. So here this cell that is E10 is containing the result, so that I am selecting, and as I selected this cell, this cell reference is now in the target cell. Thereafter, here in the optimize result too, we are getting three options: maximize, minimize, value. So now, as I want to know what will be the principal if simple interest is 900. So here, as I want exact value, so that's why I have to select here value option, and here I have to enter 900 because I want simple interest as 900. Thereafter, by changing cells field, so here I have to select the cell in which I want changes so here as i want change in this cell that is containing the value of the principal so this cell is selected and then after this cell reference is now in the by changing cells field and there after i am clicking on the solve we are getting the result so you can see that here we are getting the result on the sheet so when simple interest is 900 in that situation principal will be 7500 so here now you have seen that solver is having the functionality that we got in the goal seek option now next is for what purpose actually we are using the solver tool so actually in the goal seek we are able to change the value of one cell but if we want to change the value of two or more cells so in that case we can use solver option so here i'm just telling you one situation and that situation i'm going to use solver option i don't want these changes or so restore previous and there after close now what i want to do i want to know that if my simple interest is 1200 in that case what will be the principal and rate of interest and here i want to give the condition that principal cannot go beyond 8000 or cannot be more than 8000 and rate of interest will be in between 6 and 3% so this situation i want to apply and based on this situation i want to know what will be the values of the principal of rate of interest if simple interest will be 1200 so in such situations actually we have to use this solver option so i am going to show you how to use solver option in this situation so i am going to open again solver window so tools solver and now here target cell as i want to give value to the cell e10 so that cell e10 is selected here and in the e10 cell i want exact value that is 1200 so that's why value of is selected and here i am mentioning 1200 and after that by changing cells so here i have to change value of two cells one cell is containing principal and second cell is containing rate of interest so these two cells i have to select and now these two cell reference i am getting in this by changing cells field now here in the limiting conditions i have to give condition so first of all i want principal so this cell is containing principal so that is selected and principal i want less than or equals to 8000 so that is mentioned here now next is rate of interest so rate of interest i want in between 3 and 6 so that's why first of all i have to select the cell that is containing rate of interest and there after rate of interest may be more than or equals to 3 and it must be less than 6 so again i have to select the cell that is containing rate of interest and less than equals to 6 here so now here i have given the condition overall again i am telling that here i want in the cell e10 value 1200 and uh, i want to change the value of cells e6 and e7 and here i have given the condition that in the cell e6 value will be less than or equals to 8000 and the value in the e7 cell will be more than or equals to 3 and will be less than or equals to 6 so these conditions all i have given and based on these given conditions i will get the result i will get 
values of principal and rate of interest in the sheet so i have to click on this solve option so here now you can see we are getting the result that if we want simple interest as 1200 that i mentioned here then principal if we want less than 8000 so principal value will be 7541.38 and rate of interest will be in that case 5.3 so here you can see we are getting these values for the principal and rate of interest and you can see in the limiting condition whatever condition I mentioned here I am getting these values as per those conditions. So here I am getting principal less than 8000 and rate of interest in between 3 and 6. So this is the function of the solver tool. So here I have explained the function of solver tool and here the session 1 of the unit 2 is also ending and next session of the unit 2 will be started in the next video. So this video I am going to end here.